And good evening. Welcome to the CBS 6 News at 7 o'clock. I'm JT Fetch. First tonight, a crisis in the classroom you'll only see here on CBS 6. We've obtained a confidential report on an investigation regarding harassment and discrimination against a student in the Catskill Central School District. It all centers around a female-only chorus group and only surfaced after a high-profile controversy we've done extensive reporting on. <laughs> CBS 6 was there back in March as students and parents packed a school board meeting in Catskill after chorus teacher Michelle Storrs Ryan was suspended, accused of putting tape over a talkative student's mouth during rehearsal for the upcoming high school musical production of Cinderella. But the student told CBS 6 it was all a joke and that she put the tape on her mouth herself. The other high schoolers involved in the play were outraged. I'm playing Cinderella in our school musical this year and behind me are the members of the cast and crew. My cast and crewmates and I are supposed to be putting on our production in two nights. We should be in heavy rehearsal at this very moment. Instead, we are here promoting what we believe is good and fair. While I appreciate the school I go to, I have never been more disgusted at a collection of actions in my life. Soares Ryan and the high school principal, who was also suspended, eventually returned to work, and Cinderella finally took to the stage in April. But now CBS 6 has exclusively obtained documents showing the review of the tape incident by the district brought to light a separate matter, leading to a Title IX investigation into harassment and discrimination. A 16-page confidential report dated April 19th of this year shows the focus was Catskill's Treblair singing group, also known as Trebs. The report found a transgender male student allegedly was told in spring of 2023, they couldn't be in the group after the school year ended because it was a female-only class. Title IX prevents denying an educational opportunity on the basis of sex. Did the female-only requirement violate Title IX? The school's attorney who authored the report wrote, quote, the answer to this question is a qualified yes. The report recommends, among other things, that the female-only requirement for the Treblairs class be dropped. Tonight, Catskill Superintendent Dr. Dan Wilson confirms to us in a statement that the class is no longer described as female only. Wilson says the district is also updating policies and providing additional training to staff. The documents we've obtained contain numerous redactions, as you saw, but we've attempted to contact who we believe is at least one of the staff members who was involved in the complaint. If you have a school-related story that you think warrants a crisis in the classroom report, you can send us a news tip by calling the number on your screen or emailing CBS 6 Classroom tips at gmail.com.